All right, and we're back on Beats of the Heart, Lyrics of the Soul. Here, I love to dive deep, in depth, into the lyric, emotions, and meanings of some of the most amazing songs I have come across in my life. If you love all music, and you want to talk about the thoughts and feelings it gives us as humans, you are in the right place. The song we are talking about today is called Austin by Blake Shelton. Find it in the description down there or in the top right hand corner of the screen up there. If you have heard this song before, click the like button. If it is new to you, click the dislike button. Let's get to the music. This song can relate to many humans in the world who have lost a love over the years and maybe had that love come back into their lives. Love is the one universal quality I think we all can relate to. This song is a song about second chances and following your heart, not ignoring what you feel and never giving up on that love, regardless of how long it has been gone from your life. So we see from the start of this love song. This song is a story of two embattled lovers. Gone back to us, talked about it all the, the woman of which who left to go back home and had to break off the relationship. The man, still much in love with her, was devastated because she left him without leaving no way of contacting her. It was almost a year. So from these lines here, we can see that she waited a year before she called him. Before she called him up. Austin had been so far from her love for so long, she obviously still felt a love for the man, or she wouldn't have tried to call him. Three rings and an answer in Machine. But she didn't expect that man to be waiting for her this whole time. This is Austin, I still love you. So we see from those lines, the man goes normally about his life, catering to all of the activities that he loves. If this is Tuesday night, I'm bowling. But he knows something is missing from his life, regardless of how happy he is. And he continues on. This is Austin, I still love you. And that something that is missing is Austin. From the hook here, we can see that the man has never given up on the love that he lost, which we can surely tell by the PS at the end of his message, one year after she left. If you love music, hit that red subscribe button to make my heart beat for you. And I will continue to put all of my soul into these videos for you. Let's get back to the music. The phone fell to the counter, but she couldn't so we can see here, Austin hearing the message and the man she once loved had been waiting for her all this time. She dropped the phone in surprise. What kind of man, what kind of love that must be. And here we can see she started to ask herself and realize what kind of love the man must have had for her to have waited so long. She waited three days, she tried again. And when she waited to call him, she didn't know what she'd say. What she and now nervous, realizing she never should have left such a good man, she ponders for three days the best way to rekindle the love she once lost. And she tries to call again. I'm at the ball game. So in the second hook here, it's a little different from the first. We see here the man, absent of love, still has some love in his life through baseball. I'm headed out to the lake. And also fishing and being on the lake. If this is Austin. I still love you. His love in the form of Austin has been gone for over a year. Now think about that. No woman would date a man who had this message on his answering machine. So he did nothing but go about his life waiting and wishing and hoping that Austin would contact him eventually, not wanting any other woman in his life but Austin. She left her number, not another word. So we see here, this time she left a message with her phone number and then she hung up. She may have gotten nervous because she couldn't bring any words out that would make up for the year they had lost. By the phone, what he heard. And on Sunday, when the man returns home from his weekend fishing on the lake, on Sunday evening, he was greeted with a great surprise. Austin finally contacted him. Calling about my heart, it's still your the man had called the number Austin left and not knowing what to say for the mistake she made in leaving. When her phone rang, she picked it up and opened her heart to the man. If she had listened to her heart before, she never would have left. To know where I belong. Saying she was sorry and that she wanted his love back in her life. This is no machine. But what the man was hearing, it was not an answering machine. It was really Austin on the other side of the phone. Austin, I still love you. 
Austin tells the man that she still loves him, and then the song ends. So what can we take from this song? When in love, sometimes we find it hard to say some of the easiest things to the ones that we do love. And I think the fact that she left without leaving a phone number or a way of contacting him can be taken as a metaphor for this. The year of lost love may not have happened if there was some sort of communication between the lovers before or after she left. They may have been back together after a week or even a few days if she left a number that he could communicate with her. But instead, she left a relationship with no communication, leaving her to only wonder what the lover she left was thinking in her own mind. If she just knew that he was heartbroken, waiting for her to return, she would have been there with him and never left because she obviously loved him enough that after a year, she wanted nothing but to contact him. So I think we can see the importance of communication in all our relationships. Not just with the people we love, family and friends, even if we are communicating with strangers. It may seem strange, but it takes a stranger out of it. This song, Austin, was Blake Shelton's debut single on his first album by the same name. It spent five weeks at number one on the Billboard Hot Country Songs chart. Blake Shelton has so many awards and has been nominated for so many different things. If I listed them all here, this video would be 20 minutes long. So I'm not going to. And of all the awards he has been awarded, I will mention one here, which for any man is a great achievement. They have given one of these awards every year since 1985. The prized achievement I am talking about is in 2017, Blake Shelton was the first country artist ever to win People's Sexiest Man Alive. Blake Shelton has an extensive discography containing 11 albums and five compilation albums. He has an extensive film career also. In 2011, he had success on the singing show The Voice as one of the singing coaches slash judges. I don't know about you, but my wife loves it. Let me know in the comments if your wife makes you watch The Voice. I hope you enjoyed this in-depth review. I would love to hear what your favorite song is down in the comments. Like and hit that red button so you receive my next in-depth review. And I will be back as the beats of our heart and lyrics of our soul play on forever. Bye.